Let's do this, yeah. All right, Vaughn, here it is, going. our last yeah. part of the competitive exhibition. Yeah, this is our last cast together until the next time, but that was a lot of fun. Thanks oh, for showing yeah. me the ropes. Yeah, <laughs> I, think you, I think you might take my job one day because uh, you gave me the, the quick button swap, which helped me out quite a bit. Fans at home are probably like, what is he doing? There's that M8A1. <laughs> yeah, yeah. With the reflex side attachment. He's also got the select fire attachment on it as well. And we see immediately he swaps it to burst auto mode. Or excuse me, <laughs> I just mixed it up. But auto mode. He can go between burst and automatic. And you see it is an auto. And Gunshi picking up that kill on Raiden. And Nice picking up two kills as well. And we're in multi-team, Vaughn. So uh, why don't we take a look here at the overhead map view. And yeah, I want to see, Hastro, how these guys are sticking together. Now, now look at Raiden, Quantum, and Nice. These guys are all working a room, map control and dominate, dominance. When we play, we try to do the same exact thing. Not nearly as successful as these guys will do it. Pick a location, lock it down, hold the fort. Yeah, absolutely. And this is a great strategy by them at the moment, as we see Raiden taking out Merc. And there's a little bit more trouble. Raiden spawns quite far away on the map, so we'll stay on board with him and actually see if he can make his way back over, and no, he cannot. Karma of Envious takes him out, and let's take a look at our faction so everybody knows what's going on in the game, and you see that our SEAL team is being played by the Optic, Optic Gaming team. We have Prophecy from the UK as the SDC, and now you have Envious here as the FBI, and you have, what, I believe that's the militia, right? That the uh, Germ Team Germany is playing on. That, that's the Mercs. Oh, that's the Mercs. Okay, so we have the Mercs. Now Karma is just going massive for Envious right now. He's on a nine kill streak. And Vaughn, he's got the AN-94. Tell me a little bit about that gun. All right, this gun is pretty entertaining now. It fires the first two rounds fast, and then it changes its fire rate. So if you're a guy who feathers the trigger, you'll really like this gun. Yeah, and Envious has now taken the lead by five kills, mostly due to Karma's performance. He's 10 and 0, Vaughn, and he's playing against some of the best players in the world. That's almost unheard of. We'll stay on board with Karma. He's just on fire, and look at this. He spots two more, getting some nice shots there. Knows his player is there. Puts a nice shot in with the B23R on Quantum. Just couldn't finish it off. And he was one kill away, or an assist even, at getting that Hellstorm missile. So I'm sure he's hating that right now. Man, the awareness these players show of their surroundings shocks me every single time. He knew he was up against two. He flipped out to that secondary. Couldn't pull it off right there, but still absolutely brilliant. Now, why don't we go ahead and take a listen in here. It looks like... Optic Gaming is now in fourth place. That's very unlike them. The German team is in second. Why don't we take a listen in on our leaders, Envious, and see how well they're controlling this game. They pushed up top in the turret. Uh, bottom middle, coming up, coming up, coming up. Yeah, he's pushing up the hill. Using XMA, you're the best. Merc's behind you, Merc's behind you. Whoever's far right. We're losing this All right, Vaughn, we listened in a little bit there, but it looks like Team Germany is on fire right now. Their players went huge for the European side in that last CTF, and we're on board with Nice. He's on the turret. We haven't really seen many people jump on the turret, so uh, what's going on with that in this game? It feels really good to me. Yeah, I really like it as well. That's a really good building position. There's lots of ways to get in, though. You got two entrances on that top floor, one on that bottom floor, and you get to the back to the door there, and then it's dangerous position. Lots of overlook, but your backside is in deep trouble. Yeah, absolutely, but he has some teammates here, and it looks like the German side, they were playing that strategy earlier, and they're doing it again, Yeah, you know, locking a, down the fort. Yeah, it's a great strategy. We do the same exact thing. I think you're going to see lots of action in multi-team deathmatch where guys are really trying to focus on holding a position. Down. Now look at this. Envious went from first to fourth, and now Optic Gaming is on a tear to take the lead. We'll jump on board with them. I'm hopping on board with Optic Ray, and Ray gets taken out as soon as I switch to him. And so Envious had that huge opening, but now they're getting mopped up as Ray takes out Toby off of Envy. Twiz gets taken out, and it looks like Big Timer has a stealth copter up, so it's the stealth chopper is coming into play. That's going to be huge for Optic Gaming. I think so. Let's look at the score panel, though, at the top. There's not a lot of kills separate these players. 32, 33 now, 30, 30. 
There you go, right there. I mean, you're talking about a couple of kills. Anything can swing the tide of this battle either way. Yeah, and we'll stay here on the scoreboard for a moment. You see Karma is just, he's been, he's been on fire. And now Envy goes from fourth to second. Optic still with control, they're in the lead by four kills, but only one kill separates the remaining three teams. This is still anybody's game, even with a minute and 15 seconds left. And that's the beauty of multi-team team deathmatch. Yeah, now look at this. There's a counter UAV up in the sky, and this is really important in multi-team because that just doesn't shut down one team. It shuts down all three other teams that counter UAV. So these guys got to deal with that thing or they're going to be out of intel for a while, Astro. Yeah, and, and it looks like, I mean, that's awesome, you know. Uh, the fact that it makes that counter UAV more powerful. Yeah, it's very powerful in multi-team deathmatch. You're going to want someone on your team equipped to deal with it. Yeah, and now you see Envy is coming back and taking the lead. We'll hop on board with them as Twiz is on a three kill streak. He's going to have to get one more kill, it looks like, for that score streak. And it would be a UAV. It would be crucial for his team. And there you have yeah, it. Yeah, that's a pickup. He, he does earn that UAV, and he immediately calls it in, and it picks up an assist yeah. right away. How do you like that data pad? He just calls it up on his hand right there and pulls that bad boy into the play. Yep. So Twiz, an excellent job. And look, that is, he's picking up UF, U, or UAV assists left and right now as Envious has extended the lead to five kills with 10 seconds left. Eight seconds now. It looks like Envious is going to take this one. What a game that was. Vaughn, Envy had the lead, went into fourth place and brought it all the way back for the lead. And they made me look 